Happy, Happy horse morning! Oh. But you're early. Your scroll said you were coming tomorrow. The scroll we sent yesterday? Yesterday, right. Welcome! Uh, what are you doing? Decorations not up, frazzled mane, determined look. I've seen this before. What are you obsessing about this time, Twily? Nothing! So, decorations aren't up because... Uh, I thought it would be more fun if we all decorated it together! Oh, that sounds wonderful! We could start decorating right away- After I finish one quick errand. Just a few ingredients, nothing to obsess about here! <laughs> Make yourselves at home, be right back, promise! She's definitely freaking out about something. Oh, yeah. Baird, it took you long enough. Blah! Are you sure you were expecting me? My name is Pinkie Pie, I know. Because I know everything. Oh, don't be silly. You only know what's already happened, but you don't know what she's about to ask. What, what am, am I about, about to ask? ask? How, How did you, you know, know I was going to say that? that? Will you two stop showing up? She doesn't have all her swarming. You reindeer, Aurora, Bori, Alice, the, the gift givers of the Grove. <laughs> and you can help me get Twilight the best gift ever. Mm-hmm. What about those matching hats? They were so cute. Well, that was... Before she had to get just one gift for Twilight. Try to keep up, Aurora. I'm gonna get that box Pinky is gonna say she likes. Aurora remembers gifts that have already happened. Alice knows the gifts that are going to happen. I just stay in the moment and keep the two of them in line. Speaking of, I believe we have a request for a gift. The best gift is more precious than gold, but it cannot be sold. When it breaks, it's not ended, for quickly it's mended. It can never be bought, yet is easily sought. Ah, here we go. I like that box. Told ya. <gasps> the perfect gift! Wow! I don't get it. You will. We said no refunds! Him. Oh, you. What are y'all doing with these dolls and that ridiculous getup? Don't you have a resort to run? It's off-season. Besides, we're planning an expansion. And expansions cost bits. Flim and Flam's Fro-Yo Flume Ride! Well, that sounds fun. It ain't no excuse for selling cheap dolls to ponies. We're just giving ponies what they want. Shopping for the perfect gift is stressful. Oh, that's true. You want to get something that really stands out. I do. <gasps> And when you tell your friend you got them the hottest gift in Rainbow Falls, what'll they say? Woohoo! The more you spend, the more your friend knows you love them. Oh, right. They really are good at selling things. You may not like it, but technically, we're not doing anything wrong. Oh, come on! Ocellus, you know you did it! Just mess up! I said stop fighting! That's not what the holidays are about! No matter what you call them, or how you celebrate. Do, do you know how lucky you all are? With your stories about sharing and, and kindness and getting together with every creature that you care about? But... Griffins do that too, don't they? Some holiday about a moon? <sighs> Blue Moon Festival. The one time of year when griffins are nice to each other. Well, as nice as we can be. Families get together to eat and then complain about the food and give each other presents they don't like and mostly just try not to yell at each other. Well, at least you get to be with your family. No. 
because I don't have a family. What about Grandpa Gruff? That's just his name. He's not any Griff's actual grandpa. I felt like I never had a place in Griffinstone. And I came here and, well, met all of you. So I don't want to go home for the break. And that's why I did it. <gasps> Griffin messed up decorations? Yeah, it was me. I put goo powder in the fire of friendship. <gasps> so it wasn't a Celis? Why would you ruin things for us? I didn't plan to. I just figured if I made a mess, our teachers would make us stay to clean up. We'd be together a little longer. Well, it worked, didn't it? Better than I thought. And when Head Mayor Twilight threatened to cancel winter break, that meant I would get to be with all of you through the entire holiday. That's why I didn't confess. So why are you admitting this now? I hated seeing all you fighting and, and blaming each other. That's the opposite of what all your holidays mean. Except maybe yours, Smolder. I can't keep all of you from the happiness of your homes and families just because I feel bad. I'm sorry. Don't worry. You won't have to tell our teachers. I will. You don't have to. We already know. We kind of guessed it was you. But we wanted to give you the chance to tell the truth. I'm proud that you did. And I'm glad to see you've been paying attention in Professor Applejack's honesty classes. But you're still gonna have to make amends and stay over break for extra friendship lessons by yourself. I'll stay with him. Me too! Yona, stay also! I'm staying! What? All right. I guess pony holidays can't be that bad. Now you can finally know what it's like to spend hearts warming with friends who care about you. Looks like they don't really need any extra lessons. Since you obviously know that hearts warming is about coming together, I'd be honored if all of you would join my friends as guests at our holiday table. <laughs> After we finish cleaning up. <laughs> Hey, this reminds me of another story. The time I almost spilled grape juice on the white couch. Does it have a depressing ending? I'm not sure pony stories work that way. Um, Gallus want Yona braid feathers? Uh, pass. Hearts warming, Eve is here once again! Friends. What? You know your 
doing your Pinkie Pie voice, right? I was not. <laughs> so, what happens next? Well, the party was... Wait! Can we take a quick break? I need to refill my cocoa. Ugh, fine. But hurry up! We're almost to the best part! <sighs> okay, I'm ready. The party was in full swing. Snow Dash! Hey, Mary. Well, whatever is the matter, darling? Was it the eggnog? Oh, I knew I put in too much cinnamon. Oh, no, the eggnog was awesome, Flutter Holly. I'm just mad at some pony who was complaining about how awful Heartwarming Eve is. I don't suppose that pony's name starts with snow and ends with frost? She said Heartwarming Eve is just an excuse to party, and we would all be better off spending time working to make Equestria a better place. <laughs> what does Snowfall think a better Equestria looks like? Ponies working hard, learning, and using their abilities for the benefit of Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we've got everything on Snowfall's list right here. I think a perfect Equestria looks a lot like a heart swarming Eve party. Me too! Too bad it's going to be the last one ever! Spirit? What do you mean? What's going to happen? Who are you? I am the spirit of Hearthswarming yet to come. Are you here to show me what future Hearthswarming Eves are like? No, for there are no more Hearthswarming Eves for me to show. Why not? You will succeed in erasing the holiday. As you wished. And what happens? I see a cold wind blowing through. You're gonna have to exercise a lot to get as big as you were when you absorbed the life force of all those ponies. Anywho, Brogar wants us all to work together, so I've scheduled a team meeting. Doesn't that sound fun? And since Grogar left me in charge... No, he didn't. <laughs> someone's a real grumpy tour today. If we aren't meeting, I guess I could just stay and offer positive and inspiring... Fine. I'll join your meeting. Just leave. See you soon. It's been weeks and Grogar has done nothing. It's not healthy to hold on to all of this rage. I could lash out at any moment. And how are you doing this fight? How do you think I'm doing? I'm ready to exact my revenge! See what I mean? Being cooped up with nothing to do is the worst! You know what you need? A team meeting! I don't do meetings. Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't. And even if he did, Chrysalis obeys no one. There'll be cupcakes. Grogar wants us to work together to defeat our enemies which means we need to trust each other. If we are to trust one another, perhaps inform Lord T-Rex to stop trying to absorb my essence! I wasn't doing anything of the sort! How dare you! How dare I? Do you know to whom you are speaking? How could I not? You tell your log every five minutes. This is why Grogar left me in charge. No, he didn't! I think I know a way that we can grow. Time to try something new, something better. No more so low. Trust is the way to go. And all we need to do is work together. Ah, oh, please. No thanks, no way. I feel the need to say. I'm smarter, stronger, and I don't need you to. Ha! Stronger? Okay. I guess we'll downplay how bad you got your rear and hand it to you. It's time to try a better way to be bad. Oh, do, do we, we really need, need a better, better way, way to, to be, be bad? bad? 
teamwork, please. What a fad. Combine all our strength. We'll go to any length once we have a better way to be bad. Let's go begin. This time we're gonna win. The ice you're on is thin, so watch what you say. I know you're in. I think I see a grin. For all this pain and torture, I swear you'll pay. This time we've got a better way to be bad. Sounds, Sounds like, like a long shot, there's better way to be bad. United as one, we'll make this pony so sad. If we say okay, would you just go away? Once we have a better way to be bad. We want to break their friendship, we want to make them weak. You want revenge on Starlight, you want that huge physique. So let's increase our chances by working as a team to crush our enemies to death and laugh as they all scream! <laughs> <laughs> I think I see a better way to be bad. Just put me in charge, make me queen, you'll be glad. No, listen to me, I'm the best of us three. Then, then you'll see, see a better way to be bad. Wait, this is my thing, a better way to be bad. You shall do as I command, I will rule this triad. Hey, not any longer. A better way to be bad. Now you're making me mad. Won't the ponies be sad? That would make me so glad. Now, now we've got, got a better way, way to be bad. Try something a little simpler. I'm sure we can do something with these. Okay. Applesauce it is. Blue, red, green, blue. I'm not the only non-pony in the crowd. You're not still worried about that, are you? Like Headmare Twilight said, this is a dance for every creature. There's no pony pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told Yona that. Well, what do you mean? Didn't you hear? Our teachers have been helping her get ready for the dance. She's been taking lessons. She's gone full pony for the dance. All for you. 
For me? Why? How kind of you to ask me to the soiree, Sandbar. Weird! Yona? Quite. Oh, I do hope I make a good pony paw for you. Uh, of course you do. But, Yona, you didn't need to do any of this. And why are you talking so funny? I am not talking funny. I'm fitting in. Could have fooled me. Tell me if you see any librarian-type ponies. Twilight, we tried this at three other restaurants already. And my late finds are already up another 26 more bits. <laughs> Waiter, we're ready to order. Oh, uh, I'm not actually... Three samosas, two curry specials. Do you think that's enough for the two of us? Hmm. Well, I would probably order some naan as well. For the table? Sounds great. Twilight, is that you? Moon Dancer, how have you been? I'm just visiting. No real reason. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. I'm just meeting my friend, First Folio, for lunch. Do you want to join us? First Folio, yes! I mean, thank you. Princess Twilight, good to meet you. Did you know your picture is still up in our library as the best book borrower? Yeah, I was hoping I could talk to Dusty Pages about that. Oh, Dusty Pages left the library moons ago. Didn't you know? Mm -mm. Oh, I heard she was forced to leave. It's so sad. She loved the library. Wait, forced to leave? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. She had a perfect librarian record until one careless pony didn't return a book ruined at all. Are you okay, Twilight? Uh-huh. Would, uh, do you excuse me? <laughs> That's why you only order spicy if you can take it. Twilight, what's wrong? Dusty Pages isn't working at the library anymore because I didn't return this book. Spike, I think I got her fired! Twilight, the library is that way! Change of plans. We're going to Dusty's house. She used to invite me over for tea all the time. But what about your late fees? They're not as important as making things right. Wait, so you're not going to return the book? No, Dusty Pages is. It's my fault she lost her job. So if I give her the book, she can get her old job back. It'll fix everything. Didn't you see the sign? No sales ponies. Oh, I'm not selling anything. No carolers either. No surveys, no petitions, no free literature. No problem. I'm just looking for some pony who used to live here. I'm pretty sure this was her house. Dusty Pages? Yes. Hold on. She moved to Silver something. Shoals, seas, surfer, whatever. When you find her, give her this. It's been stacking up for years. And tell her to change her address. Jack? What are you doing? Applejack? <laughs> Who's that? My name's Apple Cord, and I've got a couple of songs to play for you. Clap your hooves if you know them. And a one and a two and a... My love is like a barrel, a barrel full of hay. 
The Wonderbolts did a flyby, and the only way past those giant fans and into the castle ducks is here. But there's no room for mistakes. Just like space travel. Uh, Pinky, we're not actually going into space, right? No, silly. I'm dropping you two off as soon as we're close to the fans. Then I'm going into space. You're up to something, Twily. Nope, just looking at the flowers. <sighs> right. Ooh, maybe Rarity's plan will work. Catch our luck! We have a problem! <laughs> I know that one's a crowd favorite. What say we play it one more time? And a one, and a two, and a... <laughs> Distraction's a distraction. Where's Spike and Fluttershy? Did they make it into the castle? They jumped out right before the balloon went... <laughs> but that's all I can see without being in space, where I didn't get to go. Let's hope Rarity and Rainbow Dash had better luck. What's this? Closed? Oh, the CD juice joint is always closed around this time. Then how are we meant to shake down Nandu Wells for information? What sort of information do you need? Um, the location to a secret entrance to the passages under Canterlot Castle. You mean that one? Yes, thank you. That will do nicely. Zephyr Breeze? Oh, darling. This couldn't be more perfect. How is this perfect? He's the most annoying pony in Equestria, and he's totally obsessed with me, and we have to come up with a way to distract... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no way. Uh-uh. <sighs> What? Rainbow! I knew you'd come running when you heard I got this job. The mayor's love a pony in uniform, am I right? Not really. I mean, uh, totally. Why don't you step into the light so I can see how uh, handsome you look in it? I told the Sarge that gold kind of clashes with my aura, but apparently they aren't big on input. Still, I totally managed to rock the look, don't you think? Yep. You're real guard material. I'm part of the castle team now, so I'm basically... Whoa, we got a spooner. It's good you're finally being honest with your feelings for me, Rainbows. Ugh. The truth is such a gift. Like, I had to follow my bliss to see guarding is my calling. Like, look at me go. I'm gonna walk over here and I go, whoa, over there. And I go, yeah. And sometimes I just stand like this and look real cool. And I go down the hallway and go, ow, 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 ow. <gasps> Pepple Bloom! It's me. Look at me, Sugar Cube. Twilight, you gotta free her. Please! Without the elements, my magic isn't strong enough to stop Sombras. Spike! Spike, where are you going? Starlight? We must lay siege to Canterlot. No! Snap out of it, you two! You're stronger than his magic! Sweetie Belle, please stop! I can't get her to stop! I can't get None her... None of us can. We can't reach them. <laughs>
see them, but I don't know how to stop Sombra. Every pony was so sure I'd do such a great job. Well, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Could anything else possibly go wrong? Well, with the Tree of Harmony gone, the Everfree Forest could grow out of control and threaten the town. Darling, that's oddly specific. <laughs> out how to defeat Sombra and bring every pony back to Ponyville. If we don't stop the forest, there won't be a Ponyville to come back to. Ahem. For our friends. For, for our, our families. For our home. For Equestria. Equestria! Get down! They fled! Celestia and Luna are too cowardly to even stand against me! Equestria is mine! <laughs> Come on, every happier to see two ponies in my whole life. No pony is meant to handle this on their own. 